by reading the bibliography and um, um, reading and being uh, critical and taking a, a, a kind of distance. So that is one third thing. And the second thing is to try to look at the topic from a different angle, um, from another methodology, or, let's say for biology, uh, uh, try to, to, to see if um, what um, your colleague in physics or mathematics would think of the project, try to, to find new angles. Um, to use a big word, I would say try to have a holistic approach. Uh, holistic means that you will try to use all the known approach on the, on the topic. Uh, mathematics, uh, philosophy, ethics, for example, biology, uh, uh, engineering, and so on. Try to, yeah, to look at the, at the problem um, in all its dimension. It's very difficult if you have... Yeah, but I mean, um, maybe one or two uh, different angles are sufficient to have a new idea. So it's just, you know, to look at the things differently, trying to. And the bibliography helped for that. So that would be um, depending on the field. So um, I will look from the physiology, uh, neurophysiology, um, molecular level, what are the molecules involved, or molecular level, what are the um, animal model that you can look at, uh, what has been done in epidemiology, for example, on that. What is, um, as a social level also, what is, um, uh, how are um, depressive people uh, considered and treated? Uh, well, these kind of things. Okay. And in the grant proposal, you would like it all? Or Not all, because the thing is you, when you, you gather your ideas, sometimes you will throw away maybe um, half of the ideas because you cannot put everything on the, on the grant application. Mm -hmm. So just keep it sharp, very sharp and focused. What are the uh, objectives of the grant? What, are the, uh, what is the relevance of uh, your proposal? So you have to look at all the items of the grant proposal and be sure that you uh, will fill all the boxes with the appropriate uh, material. So gathering ideas is one step, writing the grant proposal is another step that is very formal and um, you have to be very clear. So, um, um, and from the beginning you will have to go from the a broad range and go very to a narrow um, aim or objective because you have to be realistic. Um, so when I, I, I'm thinking about um, um, the, the man I was talking to, Angel Nebreda, and uh, he, he told me that um, he asked me to write a, a grant uh, to be a PhD in his group, and he, he told me, well, there are two ways of writing a grant. You can write, I would say, like a uh, grandpa, who say, very wise, and I will do that, I will do molecular research. He told me, I, what I want in, my, in your grant is, tell me that you will jump from the window, that you will succeed, that you will be on the floor, and that you will walk. So, in, in, you have to be, in a way, realistic, but you have also to be enthusiastic, and you have to be uh, original and say that you will be a groundbreaker because you, what people want in a, in a grant is something very original, very new and very um, maybe transferable to others, something that is, is really relevant. So you have to be very enthusiastic about your work and you have to find a way to share it. Okay. Be ambitious, would say also, be ambitious. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> 
Sometimes when you're reading the, the literature, you say, well, it will raise questions. You will ask, oh, did they do that? Or they, do they know that? Um, then you will have the question in your mind, did someone try this experiment or not? Did someone try to address this question or not? Um, and you will look if they have done that. And if they don't, well, you have an angle to do your proposal. And to get an idea also is to make a, what I really do very often, that is maybe very personal, I, I do uh, models or um, I am picturing things. So it's like, um, it's like putting the pieces of a puzzle together. And when you do that, sometimes you notice that there are pieces lacking. And, um, oh, okay. So you put the model, you say, well, they say it is working that way, and that way, and that way. Oh, there's a gap here. Did someone understand that gap? Or did someone address this hypothesis or not? So try to fill the gap. Or try to think differently. It's very difficult. Just, um, yeah, be ambitious. So, well, okay. What do I really want to understand? And then maybe it's too ambitious and you will not succeed now, maybe in 10 or 20 years, but it will give you, um, what do I want to understand? Okay, this is it. Okay, what do we know? What is not known? And on what is not known, how can I handle it? And um, if I don't know how to, how to handle it uh, in that topic, or let's say in depression, let's see if in other disorders they have tried something, a different protocol, and I will see, okay, sounds good or not. If it sounds good, okay, how can I adapt it? How can I maybe modify it to fill my expectations? So it's just like, let it flow and see what is possible after that.